Hello and welcome back to another video. Today uh, we've had a bit of an incident. Clutch cable snapped as I was pulling the car into the garage. Car was in gear in first, so it caught, shot forward into mountain bike at the end of the garage. Thankfully, miraculously, there is no damage. However, we have to replace the clutch cable. Okay, first step is to undo the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws that hold the pedal box cover in place. I've done seven, I'm doing number eight right now. Okay, and then we can remove this cover plate, like so, to reveal the pedal box. Here we have a throttle cable yeah, attached to the throttle pebble, pedal. I've got a load of spaces and things in place uh, that help to put the pedals where I want them, that work for my particular foot arrangement and size of my feet. I have quite wide feet, so you can see quite a lot of spaces packed in on the brake pedal, for instance, just to bring it over a little bit away from the clutch um, and to kind of get me a nice, nice spacing for heel and toe shifts. Uh, so that relationship between throttle and brake is, is adjusted just for me. And then you can see on the top here, we've got our brake master cylinder here that runs through into the, the top of the pivot of the, uh, the brake pedal. And then this arrangement here is all to do with the lights. So uh, after you push the brake pedal, it squeezes on this little pusher, this little stopper here, and that turns the lights on. So you can see these electrical cables running out, turns the brake lights on. Okay, so I reckon I found the problem. This is the clutch cable. Um, yeah, it's not attached to the clutch. What a shock. So, yeah, we're going to have to remove this pin by the looks of things. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera. We're going to have to remove this pin here, this R clip. Slide out the pin that then holds the end of the cable in place and replace with a new pin. Before we do that, by the looks of it, we're going to have to unwind the adjustment on this end and remove remove the cable. So, like I say, I've never done this before, but let's give it a try. Okay, scratch that. No need to unwind anything. These two bolts are just about adjustment, so how much of this length uh, of cable should feed through into the pedal box. So, um, all you got to do is just pull pull the end out to remove uh, remove the cable. Clutch uh, pedal, you've got a second pin which is where the cable attaches and it's just a pin with a couple of spaces on the end, one, two, three in my case. Then you've got the end of the cable here and then you've got an R clip on the end to retain or hold that pin in place. So that's the setup. So, so hopefully now you can see the top of this excuse my filming again you can see the top of this clutch pedal now no longer has that pin and the retaining r clip on the end it's just an open bracket in a sense and you've got this return spring here just to make sure the pedal uh returns to its uh, natural position you can double spring that if you want an extra heavy pedal um i'm weak and pathetic and i don't i'll stick with one And on this K-Series six-speed <coughs> combination, there is this rubber rubber cover that normally sits there. If you squeeze and pull, you can get it up and out of the way to reveal something. It's going to be a surprise for us both. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but there's the end of the pin just there. That's a much better angle. So there you can see the cable coming in. Where my index finger is seated on a metal retaining pillar post thingy majiggy again ultra technical language so next step is to work out how to get that out you simply pull a bit of slack on the cable like so you drop it down and then pull back out through a larger retaining hole in the bottom of the post there until you're free you then remove the cover and simply slide the cable back out 
through this fixing post here. The next step is to lay the old and the new cable out side by side to make sure I definitely have the right replacement part. I'll be throwing nothing away. Even though this cable is actually broken, I know it fits, so I can use it as a template and a, and a check against any other parts I order if this one's incorrect. Okay, now we're going to try and reattach the cable on the bottom end. So we thread it through the lower part of... oh god. <laughs> can't see anything. Oh, go on. Yes, through and in and we're hooked and I know we're hooked because I'm moving the clutch. So if I release on the top end here, if I pull at the top end of the cable, hopefully that moves. Yes, but obviously we're going to have to do a lot of work to make sure this is all aligned properly. And the one thing I forgot to do, a good job I just remembered, is put the sodding dust cap on. Okay, back on the other side of the car, driver's side. Um, so now we think we've got the, or we, I think I've got the pin located at the clutch end. We have to focus on getting the cable located within the pedal housing. Okay. Okay, after a bit of fighting, I seem to have the cable attached uh, with the pin with the uh, the pin going through. I believe this R clip is also known as a clevis clip, but someone in the comments will probably call me an idiot and tell me that's not true. Um, but here's the final piece to go in. I'll make sure. Oh, missed it. Oh, missed it again. There we go. Over you go. So what I'm doing to adjust the position of the pedal is using the cable that I took off as a guide. So you can see that the locking nuts are about halfway along the threads. So I've just I've just tried to roughly position um, my locking nuts roughly halfway up the new thread. My pedal position is looking okay at the moment relative to my brake, but I haven't adjusted the gearbox slash, slash clutch end side. I'm going to go around and do that now, again using the old cable as a guide for position. Again, Locking nuts are roughly halfway along the thread, so we'll do that as a starting point and, and fine tune from there. I now have a clutch pedal, and the clutch feels much smoother. It moves in one, uh, one beautiful arc, rather than snatching or grabbing at any point where it shouldn't. Hopefully, this will help me drive the car more smoothly.